What's going on, Genius Nation? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching this on the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. I'm back here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona, where God vacations. So wherever you are in the world, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Just got back yesterday to the house uh, from California, had a great couple of days um, in California, got to meet with some clients, spoke at a few events, uh, got to hang out with my buddy, uh, Tim Story. So California was a, a great trip, but now I'm back in Arizona ready for a great week. Got my ginger tea here. I'm just here in the backyard. Just I come out here in the morning uh, to meditate sometimes. And so I'm here in the backyard. But I wanted to talk to you guys about your dream, focusing on your dream. What's going on, Dr. Leroy? And uh, a lot of times I'm talking to people and I'm talking to them about what they want to create. Um, their dream, their vision, and their mission. And a lot of times when I'm talking to them, one of the biggest things that they talk about is not having support or not having people um, to walk the journey with them. And so I want to come and talk to you guys about that today. Whenever you are pursuing something, whenever you are building something, in those initial stages, the energy that it takes and the focus that it takes and the dedication that it takes is going to all come from, from you. What's going on, Mark? It's your dream. No one else is required to believe in your dream, to support your dream. It's your dream. Now, your consistency and your dedication and your focus is what then attracts people down the road. But initially, I need you to understand that it's your dream that you have to get dedicated and you have to get committed to your dream. You know, personally, I have a goal to be Compton's first billionaire. That's a goal I have. None of my friends have that goal. None of my family members have that goal. That's my goal. That's my dream. That's my aspiration. So no one else in my immediate circle has that goal. So what does that mean for me? Well, number one, that means my focus, my commitment, is going to be different than everyone else's around me. The majority of my inner circle um, are not entrepreneurs. The majority of my inner circle are um, amazing individuals that have careers and that's what they've chosen to do. And so their mindset and their aspirations, for the most part, is to work for retirement. That's that's their as aspirations. So their effort in life, and this is not this is not to be negative. I just need you to understand there's going to be different perspectives, and because there are different perspectives, the actions of every individual are going to be different. Oh, these flies are starting to come out here. Um, the actions of every individual are going to be different. The effort that people put into life is going to be based upon their dreams, their aspirations. And so, for instance, if you have someone or if there's someone who says, man, I'm working for retirement. Well, the where the way their life is set up, it's going to be set up around making sure they go to work every day, um, making sure inside that job they get promoted. But for the most part, it's job security, right? They're working for job security to ensure that they can uh, secure their retirement. Well, retirement and becoming a billionaire 
are drastically two different mindsets. Now, neither one of them are right, wrong, or indifferent. It's just about you. It's, it's what your dream is. It's about what your aspiration is. So if you're wanting to build a business, if you're wanting to build a movement or whatever that may be, whatever that looks like to you, you got to understand that's not your husband's dream. That's not your wife's dream. That's not your significant other's dream. That's your dream. That's your dream. That's your dream. And so initially, what happens is you are going to be walking that road by yourself because you got the motivation for it. God talked to you about it. God showed you that vision, didn't show it to everybody else. So they're not going to have the same uh, type of energy that you have. They're not going to have that same type of energy. So don't get disgruntled. Don't get upset with people. Don't get mad at people because it doesn't seem like they're supporting you. What will happen down the road when people see your commitment, when people see uh, the results from what you're talking about, that's when they'll begin to connect with you. See, remember, seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Understand this. Seeing is believing. You saw the dream. You saw the vision. They didn't see it. They didn't see that dream. They didn't see that vision. So you believe it because you saw it in your mind. You felt it in your heart. Boy, these flies are coming now, right? You, you saw it in your heart. They didn't see that. So they're not going to see it until you start to build it. Does that make sense? They're not going to, they're not going to see it. They're not going to see it until you start to build it. So don't get upset with people when they don't want to support you in the initial stages, right? Don't get, don't get, don't get upset with people when, um, their motivation is, is not the same level as yours. Even when you start to hire employees to them, it's a job. It's not a mission. Your company may have a mission, but that's not their mission. Their mission is they have a job. Now, as you continue to stay focused and committed over time, what will begin to happen? People will begin to buy into the mission. I mean, I got to go in the house because this these flies are starting to get me. People will start to buy into the mission. They'll start to buy into the vision. But initially, they're not. So you can't get upset. You can't be upset at them for not having the same commitment level as you. You know, you, you got to think about it. You know, you got to think about it um, as your children. Let me turn on this light in here. You got to think about your children. Your children are your children. They're your children. So you can't expect the babysitter. You can't expect the babysitter to love your children like you love your children. All you want them to do if they're babysitting is make sure the kids don't hurt themselves. Make sure the kids get fed. Make sure the kids get put to bed at the right time. But you shouldn't have an expectation that your babysitter needs to love your kids the way you love your kids. That's not necessary. Right now, over time, you know, I remember um, for my daughter, we had a nanny. We had a nanny for our daughter and. When she would come in, when Janetta would come in, Janetta, um, Janetta took care of Kara. She bathed Kara, changed Kara's diaper. But initially, it was just a job to her. It was just a job to her. Over time, Janetta became a part of the family. And so my daughter is now 19 years old. We now, 19 years later, still stay in contact with Janetta. She's off doing wonderful things. But um, um, over time, she became a part of the family. But initially, she was the nanny. So that was the relationship. She was the nanny. This is your job. We had a list of responsibilities for her to do. And that's but we didn't require her to love our daughter. We wanted to make sure you're not going to abuse. You're not going to hurt our daughter. But it, it, the thing about it was we understood that she's the nanny. So the same thing about your dream, guys. I just want you to understand that you, you have to take possession of it. You have to be committed for your dream. You have to exert the energy for your dream. And don't get disappointed. 
Don't get disappointed when initially it doesn't seem like you have support. So guys, take your dream, take your goal, take your vision, take your mission, take it personally, guys, take it personally. And when you begin to take it personally, people will see your commitment and down the road, they will, they will come and support you. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today on Daily Insights with Dr. Will. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to subscribe, hit the notification so you can get uh, when we go, uh, when we upload a video. Everybody in Genius Nation, I'll see you back here tomorrow at 6 a.m. All right, guys, let's go out there and dominate.